Hi, I'm Jim Astiver with Sigma Scientific. I'm here to show how to set up our new adjustable height guillotine stand for our vacuum volatile collection and also for Otosource for olfactometry. This is our large stand. It has a 300 millimeter ring for our large glass chambers. The nice thing about our large table is we can also cut in a 200 millimeter ring and a 100 millimeter ring so you could use the same table for different glass chambers. The adjustable height stand pops up and that you'll see the grooves that lock it into place. We also have the cutout for where the uh, stem of the plant goes. To keep air from entering the system that is contaminated by biologicals or semiochemicals, we wrap the stem in an activated charcoal. This allows the air to flow in, but not to affect our tests. You will also notice that on the bottom half of our guillotine plate, we have grooves cut out that form into the stand so it locks into place. We start by removing the guillotine plates, moving our test plant into position, and then raise our table to the height we need that we can still access the soil to add water chemicals, then lightly we hand tighten our legs and then best practice is to use a level and level your table and then really tighten in your legs so they're locked into place. Make sure you tighten your set screws. Glass chambers are quite heavy. Then we set our, the rear of our guillotine into place. The holes here lining up and locking in the rear of our guillotine. Wrapping our sample plant in our activated carbon filter, we slide it into place in the group. The front guillotine has slots. This allows you to attach it by going in at an angle. Bring it forward and it locks down in place. Once we have our plant specimen locked into the guillotine stand, we can add our chamber. The chamber I'm using right now is one of our largest. It's 300 millimeters in diameter and over 600 millimeters tall. It can accept a much larger plant than the one I'm using here. This is also our new ambient air system. This allows us to use the air in the lab, but clean it before it comes into the chamber. This allows for the humidity the plant is used to, that it's been growing in, to be in the chamber also. Our filtering unit allows for air to flow freely from the lab into the system. It has multiple layers of activated carbon. At this point, we are ready to attach our volatile collection trap. Our volatile collection trap, or VCT, is designed where we have a stainless steel screen that is fused into the glass. Then our absorbent, some glass wool packing, and then a retaining ring. The normal way for installing the VCT was for the tip to go into our chamber and the air to flow through the tube. Sometimes we've had problems if pressure builds up too high, that our retaining ring comes loose and we lose our absorbent. Simple way to rectify this, for our airflow to flow from the large end of the VCT through our absorbent and our screen is our last part. How we set this up is first we put on our cap, we put on our retaining o-ring, and we insert it into our VCT holder, screwing tight so that's locked. Our tubing we put on cap O-ring, pushing that forward until our tubing connects with the small end of the VCT, making sure that we have a good seal. We tighten up, and now we have our VCT locked into our holder with our tubing that will go to our vacuum. The last part 
of course, is to attach the VCT to our chamber, which of course we put in the cap, our O-ring, and then we insert into our chamber to the depth we are looking for and slowly tighten our cap until our VCT is locked into our chamber. Now we're ready to attach our tubing to our vacuum source so we can start our experiment. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that.